Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. My first guest, uh, how, uh, how we say, has a lot going on in the business right now. <laughs> He's kicking some yeah. ass. He's uh, uh, on the show True Detective, which uh, uh, just uh, just amazing. Uh, and uh, has been a part of uh, the Book of Mormon on Broadway, which, uh, you know, I haven't seen. But every com- literally every comedian whose opinion I respect says it's like the best thing ever on Broadway. And uh, I asked for, a, as a birthday gift, for tickets to the show. Please welcome Michael Potts. What's up, man? What's up? How you, How you doing? doing? Where are you from, Mike? I was born in Brooklyn. You are born in Brooklyn? Yeah. You used to live in the city, I guess. I do. Is True Detective LA or New York? Where they shoot that? No, nah, no, nah, New Orleans. In New Orleans? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know New the Orleans, exterior yeah. is probably because it's Louisiana, but uh, all the even the stuff inside oh, the is down thing. there? The whole all thing. Down, okay. All down there. Yeah. Uh, how long did you spend down there? I was down there about three months. I oh, think okay. uh, Matt and Woody were down there about six. Wow, I'm going to say, it took a long yeah. time. Yeah, they were shooting before we even got there. Well, just uh, an amazing job. And you get to play, you get to play a really cool, like, a legendary cool thing for an actor to play, a detective interrogating somebody. Right, yeah. right. I know, <laughs> and I, know, it's re- I, know. I, I'm, I binge watched it today. I'm up to like about the seventh episode. Then you're all caught up. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm yeah almost, I, no, I think yeah. maybe then maybe I'm up to the sixth episode because one I haven't seen. Okay. But uh, right. that's available on demand. And um, it's great to see which way you guys are going with this, like what you guys know, what's in that damn file. Uh, and now you're playing it both. Now you're going back and interviewing the wives and everything. Right, and right. Really good work because it's you're on your. You're Thank on you. Your... Thank you. I appreciate it. Great writing. The what finale's is it? this week, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's coming. Now, Sunday what is the deal with it? Is it a, is it a second season or is it what's it going? Well, on? you know, nothing officially has been announced, but right. you know, I, I think all indications of that. There'll be a second season. Yeah. I heard Time that of... it's going to be a different case. Right. So does that mean they're they're different characters, or yeah. are you going to be completely different characters? Completely right. different characters. But will it be like you in that central Don't know. role of interviewing the? Don't know. Well, can I ask you this? No idea. Can I ask, does this huh. case get fully resolved? Or... Absolutely. It does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm wow. psyched for that now. Every really... season, one case, it all gets resolved. That's all gets wrapped oh, up. I'm yeah. really psyched. That's, oh, awesome. that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, yeah, it's got me thinking about what's going on here, uh, as a good show should. I tell you, HBO really delivers. You ever worked for them before? Yeah, I've worked for them. Uh, this is about the fifth thing. Oh, you did The Wire, right? I did The Wire also, yeah. Uh, now, what was that? Talk about an intense show, man. I really, mean, really, that really, really changed intense. TV. A lot of fun, though. A lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, was it fun for you? Oh, absolute fun. And did you live in Baltimore for that then, too? Uh, I stayed in New York, but I would just go down and shoot. Okay. How did you, for The Wire, I mean, we're talking about two of the best shows Man, no, it's, that's good to be a part of that. Uh, not too shabby. Not your, too shabby. your character on The Wire, <laughs> how much did you bring to that character? Because it's pretty complex being Muslim and being just a badass like that and, and being into drinking and, you know, like just a lot of A complicated layers. guy. Yeah. Complicated guy. Right. Complicated guy. They let me alone. I mean, it's basically they gave the scripts, and we had they were great writers on the show, right. amazing writers. You gotta trust the writing, yeah. and they gotta and trust you, was. though. Yeah, but they gotta they, tr- yeah. you know, and they 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 did. Right. They got to that point. I, I mean, of course, the first day you shoot, nobody is sure that I think I had one word. <laughs> <laughs> one word for that my takes first, the pressure yeah, off. One yeah. word for my first episode, you would think, but everybody was there watching. Oh, okay. Yeah, to make sure I get this one word. Right? Yeah, yeah, because that's why I always tell people uh, uh, if you're in a movie or a, like a show like that where it's like one camera, if you're gonna get fired, it's gonna be that first <laughs> yes, week. You know, exactly. yeah. No. But after a few weeks, that you got them. I got lucky. Man. Yeah, I was sweating. They can't like, fire you after that. <laughs> How does it Can work? Is the whole arc in place in week one like that, or? Do they kind of create it for you when they like what you're doing? That it's number two. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that just started. Well, you became I mean, a that, huge I part. I mean, David Simon already had what he wanted to write for like that five for the five year period. Right. Uh, and he knew he had an arc for the story for the narrative that he wanted. And then they bring in these characters, and as he says, if he likes what you're doing, they'll write more for you. Right. So uh. that's how that happened. I mean, people don't know Omar was never supposed to go beyond six episodes originally. Yeah, wow. but if you're doing yeah. well, it's right. they'll create different scenarios like it, and you can yeah. be involved. And, like, and yeah. they're always like, hey, look, let's put him in this scene. Right. He wasn't original. And if it's it works right. in the story. I mean, yeah. You know, it's got to make see, you they, feel they pretty would, good. That sort of affirmation. That made me feel great. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, uh, with True Detective, uh, is there any leeway to improv a little bit? Or is oh, it yeah. word for word? No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Now, the director Carrie loved it. He loved the. Uh, oh, okay. He loved the improv. He liked it. 
honest, you know, in the moment. The scenes yeah. with McConaughey, especially, like, you know, the really way... Intense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way, from the very beginning, the way he sort of, he tries to, because he's also a detective, right. the way he tries to establish the ground, the oh, groundwork and the barriers right there, where it's like, look, I'm going to smoke, right, right? and I'm going to, and I need beer. And I need beer. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I know that now everything I say to you is inadmissible. Right. Yeah. And you're the good Got cop, kind of, right? Yeah. You're the kind of... When yeah. he blows that uh, money across the thing, the look your partner gives him is priceless. <laughs> like, all right, I'll tell you. And you're just kind of like, okay, fine. <laughs> all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, now we know the game we're playing. All right. Yeah. Did The Wire... Was there some tie with The Wire and True Detective? Like, you're, the job that you did on The Wire, did right. that lead, you know, with HBO to uh, True Detective, or are they completely independent of one another? I'm, no, I'm sure. I'm sure they knew yeah, some they good knew people work. to know. Yeah, at I HBO. think they, I think they knew the work, or they went back. I mean, I, I think they've had a changeover too at the top between oh, really? the time we did the wire and uh, True that's Detective hard when you're working up. for a network and the regime yeah. changes. And I think you know what's going to happen. Yeah, there were at least this, well, at least two regime changes wow. between the wire. Oh, really? And this, yeah. But well, that's at least that of... speaks to the strength of your work. I mean, well, and the show, the wire, and the... <laughs> they really wanted yeah. to. Yeah, they fought for me, I guess. Yeah. 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 I, mean, yeah. I mean, it makes sense to do. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. With right, that, right. You know? Because you know, since we aired, the re you know the regime changed again. So it's all new wow. people now. The guy playing your partner, had you right. known him before? No, you guys I've got never, you really never worked, worked well with, with Tori okay. before. Okay. No. Yeah, you yeah. guys work well together. Well, that's so, good. Yeah. We, you know, we'd go out and drink together. <laughs> <laughs> now, one yeah. of those guys, like, you've heard legendary stories of uh, McConaughey and Harrison with them right. partying and maybe a little bit of the funny cigarettes. <laughs> Any of that going on? <laughs> you can tell us. <laughs> I mean, those are two of the biggest advocates for weed. Uh, you know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Is there a chance you're shooting season two in Colorado? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Let's yeah. hope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woody Allen goes. He's, he's for hemp suits and everything. Hemp suits. Yeah, man. he's, he's, he's for smoking yeah. your clothes. That's that's guy. one of the the strange. Like for me, my impression of what Woody Har Harrelson was like as right. a person. And a lot of his characters, he's a way out there kind of guy. Right. And to see him playing the straight laced detective on this, I, no, which I mean, is he's great. truer I mean, Matthew to getting... real life. Um, both really. Well, Woody Allen really you, 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 you get to see both. I mean, Woody as a, as a human being is very complicated. All man. over the well, place. Well, from Cheers he is, on, he yeah. either plays a really he could play a brilliant, crazy guy or someone who's almost retarded. Like yeah. on Cheers, he's almost retarded. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but if and humor see, comes from that. Yeah, man, you could see that. You yeah. Know, like even yeah. during the course of a shooting day, you can wow. see him kind of go through all of those. You know what's great about the show day. too? It's it's such about True Detective. It's such an intense drama like yeah. literally like silence of the lambs is a tv right. series it's really dark but it could almost in half a second be a comedy oh yeah you know like <laughs> there's moments where you go like wow this could be really funny too <laughs> and which i as a comic i love seeing that well you know there are moments that didn't make it oh really <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you would find very funny man <laughs> I, I can't shoot something that intense it's like you got the just the first episode with the I'm sure that wasn't a real woman not by the tree, or maybe what was that a real woman? I don't know. I wasn't there when you he weren't shot there that. for that. No, yeah. I wasn't there for that one. I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, just to even have that fake that. woman yeah. there uh, is maybe, really yeah, awkward. I, know. I mean, they've they had some really intense characters on the show. Yeah, and these people were for real. What is the <laughs> well, no, the two me the two real. meth guys? Oh yeah, uh, the, they were they the real thing. I, I don't know if they were a real thing, but they, they convinced me that they you know were. What, you know what reminds you of? <laughs> they convinced in, me they were. In Deliverance, Burt Reynolds used to tell a story. The guy who has sex with Ned Beatty yeah. in Deliverance right. uh, wasn't a real actor. In the script, they couldn't find an actor to pull that off. So uh, Burt Reynolds tells the director, he says, listen, I knew a guy when I used to work at a circus in Florida who, who could is the real guy, like, right. a hillbilly. I'll try to find him. So they find the guy. They bring him in. They do the whole Ned Beatty. They read the Ned Beatty scene to him. Right. And they say, would you want to do this? You think you could do it? And the guy literally spit tobacco down and said, hell, I've done worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> and they are. All right, we got to take a break. Uh, <laughs> got to take a break. Uh, we're with the great Michael Potts, and we'll talk more of it. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.